So this is the ultra centrifuge. Uh, there is a start button here. We just push it here. You can see from this point. And then you wait a little bit. This is gonna be blue, means that it's almost ready to put any sitting that you want. And the sitting is easy. You have only three things, speed, time, and temperature. So the speed is the actually the main things that matter. And it's because it depends on which rotor that you are using. You could see in any rotor that you find in this lab at least, two numbers. One is the rotor type number and the other one is the RPM. Depends on the RPM that you want, you choose your rotor. So let's say we have, uh, our sample needs maximum of 45,000. So we take this rotor. The first thing that we do, make sure the vacuum is off. So then we can open the lid. And then we take it. There is a hole here. Just be careful, this one is a little bit heavy. So you put it here. <coughs> And some rotors are fixed and some of them are like this, but as long as it's, it's just like helping it to rotate. And then you just open it. And you put your sample in it. You see? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's say we did all of these things. Just make sure that this one is not loose when you put your sample. It should go tighten to the end after you put your sample and then you close this then you could put your vacuum <coughs> on or you could put your sitting and then vacuum it usually it doesn't matter so before you choose any of these things you need to tell to the, the machine that what rotor that you have over there so you see this rotor number so you put it here and there is a list of different rotors that you can find from the catalog. I think the one that we had was this one, right? Mm -hmm. So we chose this one. Okay, now it knows what the rotor is. Then I put my number again, time and temperature. And when the vacuum is completely on, I put the start and it goes. The, the last point that matter here is the accelerator and the, the accelerator. And this is the, the, the speed that your centrifuge goes up to get to that maximum number RPM that you, you put. And at the end, when everything is done, with what uh, step it goes down to get the zero. I always put a nine and nine to, to go slowly up and slowly down. I think that's gonna be the best in our condition. That's it. So Morteza just hit the vacuum button to release the vacuum and the lid will not be openable until the vacuum is all the way released. Right. Now it's released and the lid will open. And then we open this. So the only thing matter right now when you're putting your sample just to make sure that your sample is completely balanced in the level of milligram it's because these are going to super high speed and if your balance is not working, it usually doesn't affect in your sample, the machine gonna be a stop by itself, but just make sure that you have the, the, the good balance here. 